magandang buhay! This is your Lady Red Driver and now is the time to bring you into the beauty of life! Ready? Let's go! Hi beautiful people! For this episode of Lady Learn, I am very privileged and honored to interview the man of God and life coach at the same time, the author of the book, The Word of the Day, founding pastor of Matthew 516 Ministries Church, public speaker, and at exactly 7 a.m., you're going to hear him from his Facebook Live na nagsasabi na, Good morning, good morning, good morning! He is no other than pastor, coach, Ronald Alan Bala. A beautiful day to you, Lady Red Driver. Yes. And of course, for all of the viewers and subscribers of Beautiful Lady Red Driver, magandang umaga, tanghali at hapon sa ating lahat. Yeah. Pastor, isa nga pong ano dyan, very energetic yung greetings mo every morning. Gusto natin ipaninig sa ating mga viewers. Alright, this is how I do every morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Alan and welcome to this devotional series called Word of the day. Ayan. Yeah. Ang galing, di ba? Grabe. Doon palang nakaka-motivate na talaga. Okay, Pastor. Sige, wala natin patagalin. Gusto ko rin po matuto sa inyo. Pastor, what motivates you uh, to become a life coach po? Wow. Uh, first and foremost, meron tayong tinatawag kasi na advocacy lagi sa puso natin. <laughs> At yung advocacy natin is to bring out the best mm -hmm. in a person. Okay. Now, meron tayo iba't ibang discipline. Of course, you own counseling, you mentoring, teaching. But because of this life coach, ang distinct difference ng life coaching is through a quotation, to a quotation na nakalimutan mo na ang nagsabi noon. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi niya, mentoring is giving you what God has given to me. Wala naman masama ron, di ba? Life coaching is drawing out what God has given to you. Mas madaling magpasa ng natutunan mo. Pero napakahirap na palabasin yung binigay ng Diyos sa tao na tinutulungan mo. And that is why I am for life coaching. Ay, you go. Pastor, how many years po are you engaged in this life coach? I started at Early 2019, 19 to 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Ah, okay. Four years na. Four years na pala, no? Po, the, uh, what challenges po have you faced when it comes to this life coach po? Kapag sumisipa yung natural natin na ginagawa pag tumutulong, which is advice giving. Mm -hmm. For example, tsaka kapag ka sumisipa yung karanasan mo, for example, may kausap ka, ang lagi natin iniisip yung nakaraan mo mm -mm. and then yung experience mo, ipa, itatama mo dun sa karanasan ng kwento nung nagkukwento sa'yo. Yun yung challenging dun. Kaya madalas ang tao ang sinasabi, ah, naranasan ko na yan. Ganito ginawa ko. Yun yung two challenges na mahirap if you do life coaching. Mm -hmm. You're being subscript subscriptive, ang tawag natin dun. You subscribe and then you prescribe. Oh, ganito ang nangyayari sa'yo. And then, ito gagawin mo. Sumisipa yung pagiging advice giving natin. Para palang doktor, no, Pastor? Exactly. <laughs> Basically, yun yung pinakamahirap. Opo, mm -hmm. opo. Mm -hmm. Yan. So, meron na po ba kayong na-encounter na difficult, I mean, difficult situation or difficult na handle na diff difficult client when it comes to life coaching po? Of course! Uh, ang pinaka-difficult is yung walang goal. Life coaching is about goal. Uh, uh, what sets apart life coaching from counseling, kanina nabigay ko yung difference. Pagka-counseling kasi is that you will just uh, bring out that person sa hukay. So, tutulungan mo lang yon. So, ang, 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 ang language ng mga counselor, Ano nakamdaman mo? Okay? Anong masasabi mo ang nangyari? It's always in the past. Apo. Ang discipline ng life coaching is that you will really help that person na magkaroon ng goal. Ang pinakamahirap, yung taong walang goal. How did you deal with that po? As easy as that person can do. For example, 
Ah. Uh, meron ako, this is true true story. Uh, this is not a paying client. This is a paid uh, free client. Uh, she wanted to end her life. Okay, so she wanted to end her life. Which, on the other hand, my goal. Maganda, my goal. Sa life coaches, pag my goal, hindi ka dapat judgmental. Kahit ang pangit ng goal, huwag mong sasabihin, ano ba yung klase ng goal mo? Okay? You just have to validate, oh, now you have a goal. So, ang goal niya, gusto mo na po magpakamatay. Okay? And then, gusto mo bang ituloy yan? Okay? Sabi niya, ayoko naman po. Okay? So, ano yung pwede mong gawin para maalis yung pag-iisip mo sa pagpapakamatay? That question gave that woman, babae kasi, that woman, something else to do para maalis yung kanyang isipan sa pagpapakamatay. Ano kaya mong gawin? Kaya ko lang bumangon araw-araw. Can you do that? Yes po, Pastor. So, every day, pinapalo up ko. Hindi naman every day. Parang discipleship din eh. Pinapalo up mo lang. Sabi ko, kamusta? Nakakabangon po ako araw-araw. That person was saved because meron siyang ibang ginagawa. Last time I talked to this friend of mine, she's at the mental hospital right now. And pinasok niya na yung sarili niya ron because she believed she can no longer handle yung iba't ibang nangyayari sa kanya. But I believe what saved that woman, bigyan mo lang ng goal. So, dapat may goal talaga. Exactly. So, Pastor, if meron po viewer tayo na nanonood, let's say, for example, ayan, naintindihan niya po yung being a life coach na gustuhan niya. I mean, ang ganda pala, like what you've said earlier. So, kung gusto niya, pero hindi naman siya passionated, iba kasi yung gusto mo lang eh, kesa yung passionate ka to do it, na meron ka talagang, yun nga, sabi niya nga po, may ginogold, would that person succeed ko? Of course, because from the word itself, life coaching, as long as you are alive, as long as, ang life coaching kasi, ang lagi kong pinangi-invite dito, is that you can use it for yourself personally. Pwede kang mag-coach sa sarili mo. Pwede mong i-coach sa sarili mo. Pangalawa, kung gusto mong tumulong ng iba, you can use it. Just like what I'm doing, I'm using it personally, and I'm using it to monetize it. Of course, sino ba naman ang yung pinaghirapan mo ayaw mong ma-monetize? Hala naman po. Sige po, speaking of that po, nung sinabi niyo na po earlier, na you're using that to yourself. If you're going to coach yourself, how will you coach yourself? Very good. Very good question, Miss Beautiful Lady and Driver. Ah, pwede magkwento dalawang bagay. Dalawang bagay. Because my wife is also a life coach. Okay. And for those of you who are not aware, I'm also a college professor. So last Monday, no, last Thursday, tamad na tamad na tamad ako magturo. Tamad na tamad ako magturo. So sabi ko, parang ayaw ko magturo. Ayaw ko magturo, ayaw ko magturo. And then, Kinonvince ko na yung sarili ko, ilang libo lang naman mawawala pag hindi ako magturo, bayaan mo na. Then, this wonderful question that was asked by my wife, what space are you coming from? That's a question, that's a coaching question. Coaching question will always put you in the present. And when you are in the present, you will understand what will happen. Madalas, tumatalon tayo sa kabila, ay sa past, o kaya tumatalon tayo sa future. Kaya ang tao na de-depress dahil always talks about and thinks about the past. Ang tao na anxious dahil thinks about the future. Coaching will bring you to the present. So that question brought me to my present. What space are you coming from? Katamaran. So tinanong ko, is this my value? Katamaran. No. So kahit naman natamad ako, nagturo ako. At noon nagturo ako noon, alam mo, praise God, noong nagturo ako, I have, I think, 25 students in the morning and 35 students in the evening. And because of that teaching, because of that me attending, sobrang na-touch yung buhay ng mga bata na yun dahil dun sa lesson. That is using upon myself. Ang tanong ko, sinumpisa lang ng asawa ko, What space are you coming from? Katamaran. Then, tinanong ko sarili ko, ugali ko ba yun? Hindi. 
hindi ako to. As number one. Okay. Pangalawa, the word of the day ako dahil maraming nakikinig, uh, not only here in the Philippines, but in the abroad. May nag-message, Pastor, ano nga yung testimony mo nung nakaraan? Hindi ko narinig eh. Naghina yung signal. This is from America. Sabi ko, nagme-message ako, it's about this prayer request that I've been praying for, blah, 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 blah. Ang tinatayin ko sa cellphone ko, maagang pa-birthday sa akin to. Mm-hmm. But I know in my heart, nagpaparinig ako, birthday ko, regaluan mo ako. <laughs> I know in my heart. Mm-hmm. Same question. What space are you coming from? Shucks, hindi ako to nagpaparinig. So, binura ko. So, that's the beauty of coaching yourself. Mahuhuli mo sarili mo. Mahuhuli mo kung yung sarili mo, niloloko mo, at hindi ikaw. So, yun, personally. Ang galing. So, talaga dapat, no, advisable pala talaga, Pastor, na hindi lang, parang hindi lang na uh, magtuturo ka, pati sarili mo pala natuturuan mo. Exactly. Ang galing. Exactly. Oo, oh, nakatuwa talaga, di ba? So, uh, sa inyo po, Pastor, what is your definition of uh, success in life? Success in life? For me, uh, that's a good question, no? Mm-hmm. Being able to fulfill my God-given purpose. I know, mahaba, ma- masyadong ma- malawak, mm-hmm. but me fulfilling my God-given purpose, successful na ako doon. Yeah. So, siguro naman, kahit maikling oras, ang dami nyo na pong naituro sa amin. Sobrang, ang dami mo natutunan Thank sa inyo you. po. So, Pastor, um, final word nga po sa mga viewers who wants to become a life coach. Ano po yung mga pwede nilang gawin or paano silang magiging life coach? Okay. Okay. Uh, for go- of, course, for, of course, for the viewers and subscriber of the Leader Red Driver, uh, this is the beauty of life coaching. Nowadays, yung mga tao, they always talk about their depressed and their anxious. Totoo naman. Mm-hmm. Besides sa kinakain natin, nakaka-depress talaga yun eh. Kasi lahat ng mga kinakain natin karamihan ngayon, nakakapagpamaga, nakaka-inflame. Pero malaking factor yung isip natin. Mm-hmm. Okay. A life coach, if you are trained in the discipline of a life coach, you will not dwell too much on the past. Mm-hmm. Because wala ka nang magagawa ron eh. Mm-hmm. Kahit anong tumbling mo, kahit anong iyak mo, kahit anong iyak mo. Mm-hmm. I think isang beses lang ginawa ni Lord, inatrust yung oras sa panahon ni Hezekiah. Mm-hmm. Nasa Isaiah yun. Anong gusto mong sign? Umabante yung shadow or umatras? Mautak si Hezekiah. Madali lang paabantihin yung oras eh. Mm-hmm. Sabi ni Hezekiah, paatrasin mo. Mm-hmm. Umatras. So unless you're Hezekiah, kaya mo paatrasin yung oras. <laughs> So the reason why I'm putting emphasis on this is the reason why you are depressed, we always dwell too much on the past. Mm-hmm. Past regrets. Past hurt. What if? What could have been? Pangalawa, kaya ka na-anxious, isip ka ng isip sa future. Mm-hmm. Kaya meron anxiety. Now, ano kaya mangyayari bukas? May trabaho pa kaya ako? Papaano kung ganito na? Those were the two most difficult questions that you can ask to yourself. Mm-hmm. What if and when? And it's always deals about the future. Life coaching is a discipline to live in the now. Because God is the God of now. Remember, sabi, do not worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow, wor- tomorrow worry about itself. Because Jesus himself knows for a fact, if you keep on dwelling on the future, ma-anxious ka. If you stay in the present, because the present is the present, and you can do something about that gift called the present. Mm-hmm. Life coaching will allow you to handle that discipline kasi yung present lang ang kaya mong i-control. Mm-hmm. And this is the discipline all about. Hands down ako sa mga counselor, sa mga mentoring, sa mga teacher, I've been both. Ganun ako. It's just that once you learn to stay in the present, mm-hmm. marami kang magagawa. And again, sabi nga ni the pastor and leader and driver, if you want to join, I'm really offering a course about life coaching one on one. So, as a matter of fact, na abuta nila ng tuturo ngayon. All right? So, the learning fee is 2,000 pesos per session. Okay? And if you are a life coach, tinatawa na mo kasi alam mo napakamura ng in offer ko. But this is just my ministry. And I want you to invest something. 
for this beautiful musta. Nakdan ko na ba sabi? Grabe! Grabe generous naman yan, Pastor. Sobrang laki po ng heart nyo sa ministry na ibinibigay ni God for you. Thank you. So, Pastor, sige po. If you have message, any message for Pastora Denise and your kids po? Ah, uh, alright, of course. <laughs> I'm married to Denise for 14 years. Tama ba, 14 years? Baka may iba na. I'm married and, and I'm always grateful because uh, you always validates me. Not because I need it, but because I know if my wife validates me, I'm alright. Natutunan ko rin niya kay Pastor Loy mm -hmm. na maraming nangyayaring hindi maganda sa simbahan. Ang una niyang tanong, kamusta kayo ng asawa mo? Mm -hmm. Nung sinabi ko, okay po kami ni Denise, okay na. Okay ka. Magiging maayos yan. So, thank you for being my number one supporter and my number one fan. And for being my lioness. Thank you. And of course, to Dakila and Andres, you know, you are the reason why Daddy is grinding. Alright? And may you live up with your name. Dakila, the greatest of God, will be displayed on you. And Andres, may you continue to lead people into greatness because that's the meaning of their name. Dakila and Andres. Names. Sige po. Pastor, before we end this, gusto ko lang pong magkaroon tayo para po makilala niyo pa si Pastor Ronald Alan Balam, kung sino talaga siya. Meron po akong gagawin na Uh, question and answer na fast talk version ni Sir Boy Abunda. Alright. Okay? And this is only for one minute. Okay? So, one minute, marami na tayong matatanong kay Pastor Alan. Okay? So, let's start. Go. Do you play sports? Yes. Have you traveled to another country? Yes. What takes up too much of your time? Finance. If you become a multi-millionaire, what will you do? Invest in a business. Who is your best friend? My wife. If you could have superpower, which one would you choose? Seeing the future. How you release your anger? Watching Netflix. <laughs> If you would be someone for a day, who would you be? Me. The biggest challenge you have to face? Church challenge. When was the last time you said I love you to Pastor Denise? Kanina, nagawa kami sa kotse. <laughs> one thing you've always wanted to do? Go to US. If you will have a chance to ask question to God, what would it be? How long? Katangian ni Coach Alan Balan na gusto ni Pastor Denise. A leader. How much time do you spend in the bathroom? 30 minutes. Jollibee Magdo. Magdo. Mahal ka, mahal mo. Mahal ko. Blonde hair, red hair. Red hair! <laughs> Superman, Batman. Batman. Singing, dancing. Singing. Favorite Bible character. Joshua. Give it a chance to talk to Abraham. What will you ask him? You should have. Why did you listen to your wife, Sarah? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you are an animal, what animal are you? Lion. Favorite time of the day? Morning. Are you an only child? No. What makes you happy? Helping people. What's your dream car? Uh. Raptor. <laughs> Paina. Yeah. Thank you very much po, Pastor Alan. Sige po. Uh, for the talagang message natin po for the viewers before we say goodbye to them. And again, thank you for spending your time and listening to this bald-headed man. And <laughs> I hope you continue to subscribe and follow the Lady the Red Driver because her content is, ano, uh, It's very meaningful and it's very meaty. Message to each and every one of us is that you enjoy the present. Just enjoy the present. Because that is the only gift that you have every day. The present. Yan. So thank you very much po. At magpapaalam po kaming dalawa ni Pastor Alan. Alam ko po ang dami niyo natutunan katulad ng natutunan ko ngayon. So Pastor, may tradition po kasi kami. Pag may guest kami, ganito po. Bye-bye. Paalam. Oh, sige, sige. sige. <laughs> ano ba yung mana? Ayan. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Paalam. Oh, sige, sabay tayo. Okay, okay. One, two, ready, go. Bye, bye. Paalam. This is your lady, the driver, and... Pastor Alan. Saying, have a nice day. Bye. bye. God bless you people. Bye. Yes. Thank you. This is Life Coaching 101, Batch 1 and Batch 2. Hi, guys!
na sinabi ni Coach Pastor Ronald Allen Balang, ano dun yung nagustuhan mo at tumatak sa isip mo? Comment ka naman. Share tayo kung ano yung natutunan natin. Okay? And for now, it's bye-bye, paalam, thank you for watching this video. If you like this, don't forget to give me a like sign and please subscribe in my channel Follow me in my Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram account. Thank you very much for watching this video, beautiful people. God bless you all. Bye-bye! Mwah, 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 mwah!